Hello, welcome back everyone. Let's see, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Robots in Disguise uh, Ultra Magnus from Transformers Prime. Now, there are two uh, Ultra Magnuses released in this line. This was the first one, and uh, they have a new one that um, is a retool of the uh, Optimus Prime mold. That one is featured in the show. This one uh, was a candidate, but apparently was not chosen. But, again, he's still a cool figure. Um, he's, um, one of the nice things about him is that he's his own mold. Very original, his own original Ultra Magnus mold. Well, you know, usually they're just repaints of Prime. So, yeah, we have this six-wheeled truck thing. Yeah. Got huge windows there. Red to scoop. Lacking a lot of paint application. The back end here is kind of full, and he has these two things here, which allow him to hook, hook up his, uh, weapons. Now, this is the American version. The other one comes with, the Japanese version comes with an arms of Micron. This one comes with a missile, which has a peg here and a peg hole there. And this uh, machine gun rifle pack, which, uh, if you fold down here, has a snappy thing there. You fold it down, it becomes a hammer. You know, kind of evoking of the animated Ultra Magnus. And, uh, yeah, it lights up, and, yeah, so, you know, hammer time there. Hold that all the way. There. Now, he has holes, four holes here, and one on the top. And you can take the missile and, or, you know, peg it on the side here, here, or on the top. And you can do the same thing with the uh, rifle. Now, if you want it facing forward, you can take just uh, one of these right here. Fold it there, and then you can put the uh, missile here like so. That's what many people like to do. The box, and leave the instructions, it's like tell you to take these to the side like so. Use the two pegs there, and go like, like this in it. And so it's firing backwards. Then you can just take the missile and peg it on the top. It's kind of a shame that it, had, it comes with one missile. I mean... In robot mode, you'd like to flush it out with two. And if you had two, you can just take them and put them on the sides here, like so. Yeah, so you have two missiles. Uh, you know, for now, you just put one there, and you can put one on the front here. And there's basically your modes. But, you know, it gives you some options. Those are nice. Yeah. As I said earlier, it lacks paint apps, like, in the back here. Like, you can see a line that could have been red. No tail lights painted. They did come out with a very impressive uh, repro labels, repro labels set that you know flushes him out a little bit. But uh, let's get him transformed. He's got a very simple transformation. He's basically an upscaled Legends. They just gave him a little extra steps on the legs. You can see the whole one there. Just come here, snap this section here and this section here. That lets you begin to unsnap his arms. Unsnap there slightly. Pull these out and fold them. Then you just you know, fold these forward like so. Fold this back. Straighten out his legs. Again, this whole back section as he pulled out his arm, it sort of rests in place. Fold his toes up. Snap the legs apart and fold these things in. And what you want to do, the extra step is uh. Take his legs and you unpeg it there and rotate it upwards. Then it just folds around his leg. Yeah, so the wheels you raise them and they fold around his leg. That's a I like that. That's pretty cool. And just take out his hand, flip it out, and close this whole section there. And the nice thing that I like is that the Autobot logo is facing you know, it used to be up, now it's still facing up on the arm. And repeat that on the other side. Just fold them out, and as they fold out, they sort of fill up there, and there you have your Ultra Magnus. Yeah. Then once you do that, again, you can take his missiles and those holes, the peg holes, like, you know, there's on the shoulder and on the arms, so you can put the missile either there. But to give that G1, you would need two missiles, so... Be cool if you could just go on eBay and you know, find one of these extra missiles lying around and, you know, pick it up. Till then, uh, just stick it on his arm, you know. Can't on the shoulder. 
And then here you have this uh, rifle. You can take the rifle and put it in his hand. Take cannon. Or you can take it and fold it out and snap the piece in and plug in his giant hammer. Giant Magnus hammer. And let him hold it up high and straight. Now you see him holding the uh, cannon there. A lot of other reviewers have said this, if you've seen reviews of this guy, is that his arms are actually quite weak, and when you pull him out of the box, he won't be able to do this. So you're going to have to put him on an exercise regimen of steroids and whatnot. For Transformers, what that means is uh, unpeg the arms from the ball joints that they're on and uh, strengthen them. And you can do that with uh, glue, like crazy glue. Normally they would recommend using... Um, like a Q-tip, dip it into crazy glue or super glue and rub it around his arms and wait a night. But I recommend you use the crazy glue craft version. And the difference with the craft version is that when you open it up, you'll notice that it comes with this little brush. The little brush is ideal and perfect for, you know, things like ball joints on Transformers. So, get one of these for like $2 or so. And you can use it to fix him and the other figures that uh, have weak... Uh, weakened joints like that. Yeah. And if you don't want him carrying the uh, gun or the hammer, yeah, no, just snap it there. He has these two pegs there and you can just peg it on his back and I'm carry it on his back. Carry it on his back just there. Yeah. He's a little finicky. Oh yeah, there he is carrying it on his back. Now for size comparison, let's bring out the Fans Project Enhanced Ultra Magnus. Yeah, as you can see, a bit of a size difference. So there's the uh, Fans Project Enhanced Ultra Magnus with the uh, the uh, Perfect Effect uh, PX03 backpack that allows them to carry the uh, huge gun, as you can see on the back there. It allows them to carry it on his back so it's not lying around. Yeah, he carries it very nicely, like a boss. Now, it does make him a bit uh, back-heavy, so one of the things you want to do is, like, come in the back and, uh, you know, sort of slide out these uh, little heel thingies, like things that hold it together, like slide them out. It gives him some extra heel support. And as you can see, you know, he carries the whole thing on his back with the PX-03 backpack. Yeah. Like a boss. Like a boss. And there he is carrying his gun without any additional accessories. So, yeah. Ultra Magnus and Magnus. Very, very cool. You know, if you want to see more on him, I did review him, and you can check him out in another review. So, yeah, there's this Magnus here, and let's check him out some more. Simple transformation aside, he's very nice. I mean, you're He's got nice details, uh, I mean, he could use more paint apps on his legs, but, you know, he's got all the articulation you would basically want. His legs fold, do transformation. Ball jointed hips, uh, they full, see, thigh swivel. He also has a waist, uh, articulation there. And, uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. They can fold out due to transformation. These can fold all the way in due to transformation. Arms uh, also have a there swivel there, ratchet joint there, and the hands are on a ball joint. His head is also on a ball joint, and however, because of all the stuff around it, it makes it hard for him to turn. At least not too much, but yeah, that's about it for him. I mean, he's very cool. I mean, you have the option of this version or the one that's like a retooled version of the uh, Optimus mold. I personally prefer this one because it's its own mold and it still gives off all that Ultra Magnus flair. You know, you've got the shoulder things, the big shoulders, the legs, got the face, got the nice chest, you know, the whole thing fits nicely. Transformation is a bit simplified, but he's pretty cool. Especially once um, you fill out all his... Um, you fill out all the shoulders with the glue. So yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed that, and, uh, you know, until next time. You know, thanks for watching, and, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll have more stuff coming down the road, uh, eventually, uh, I might do Springer or some of those, uh, I do have those fans projects coming up. So, yeah, later.